If you have been thinking about developing a mobile app, you must have come across Mobile Backend as a service, which literally translates to using a ready-made backend. But is it true that it works better than the good old custom backend? Well, it depends. Let's start with Mobile Backend as a service. What are the advantages and limitations? Reduced but unpredictable costs. This solution is tempting for early stage startups and small projects, mainly because of the low cost implementation. You simply save money and time without creating a backend from scratch. What's even better, it comes with many additional services that you typically have to pay for. It seems like a win-win, doesn't it? Regardless of the backend solution, the increase in user traffic may have a painful impact on your wallet. You have to be especially careful about this in the case of backend as a service, since improper use of this service's resources can speaking directly burden you financially. Limited amount of functionalities in one bundle controlled by the vendor. Unfortunately, the increase in costs may not translate into future development of the app. Backend providers usually have a specific set of features that are compatible with each other and ready to be included. This means that as your application grows, you are limited to such a list only. This isn't a deal breaker for small projects. However, if you plan to add new functionalities in the future, it's worth looking for a service that will cover them from day one. At worst, you'll have to spend more time and money building a backend that does not restrict you. Shorter time to market. Speaking of spending time and money, Time is the second most important resource that you can save by choosing Mobile Backend as a service. This means you can pay more attention to the front end and the application itself will land on the market faster. What if you can't find Backend as a service that meets all the requirements? Then you have to build the backend from scratch and here's what you need to consider. It increases development costs but retains complete control over it. At first glance, it seems that a custom backend consumes more time and money. First, you need to set up a development team for this. Second, this team needs time to build it. The truth is, it might not be profitable for small applications, but it is for larger long-term projects. As I mentioned before, the price of a mobile backend as a service can increase overnight, spinning the budget out of control. You are in control though, when you build the backend for the application from scratch. Controlled performance and sustainability due to owning the code base. Another quite obvious difference is that you own the source code. That gives you additional confidence that the application is up to date and will stay that way as you take care of it yourself. In the case of backend as a service, our application works fine as long as the service itself works okay. Independence gives you complete control over the performance, quality of the code and its changes. Unlimited customization. There's another advantage associated with owning the code. Your application is not limited in development to the list of functions. Even if you can add your own scripts and functions in the case of the backend as a service, sooner or later, if you want to develop and scale your application with a custom backend, the risks of hitting a wall is lower. As you can see, choosing the type of backend is more long-term decision than you might think and you have to consider many factors when making it. Is your application supposed to be huge or small? Do you need to release it quickly to the market or do you have time and resources to refine this aspect yourself? Can you put together a dedicated team to develop the backend and its capabilities or is it enough for you to go and get a ready-made solution with a predefined set of functionalities? Both ways have pros and cons, so the final decision depends on your specific needs.